Well, this is a pretty different style of video, but hello everybody, it's me, Jan the Chef, with one camera to my name. I kind of sort of do like a dank pod desk type video, if you all know who that is. Like, I literally have this thing like a tiny tripod that's being held within the drawer, which is being held by my fat belly. <laughs> but uh, besides that, the reason why I'm doing a type of video like this is because something came in the mail today. And I'm not setting up. <laughs> I just realized what I said. Oh, God. <laughs> but this came in the mail today. Uh, I, I don't even know where the sensor is. Uh, sure, that's sensor. One of the last remaining iPods. My God. When news came out that Apple was no longer going to manufacture these, I knew I wanted to get my hands on one. And, you know, after a little bit of digging around and realizing that I was a little bit too late to get to Apple's website, I found this one on Best Buy. Unfortunately, Best Buy knew what they were doing. They kind of jacked up the price by an extra 50 bucks for what I got, which is the 128 gig model. So yeah, am I going to save this in this box? Absolutely not, because this is <laughs> like I get it, keeping things mint condition in their box and all that. But I mean, to be honest, I really wanted an iPod for a long time. I was actually like a few years ago before the discontinued the uh, the iPod Nano and Shuffle. I actually wanted to get a Nano, but I was just like a good maybe like 50 bucks short because I was just a kid at the time. And then by the time they were discontinued, you know, all those stuff was the iPod Touch, and now that's being discontinued. So again, I'm not gonna keep it in its coffin or case or whatever the heck. <laughs> Let's go ahead and unbox this for ourselves because my God. There's a little green tab here. Oh boy. Ooh. 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 <laughs> uh, I've actually always wanted an iPod as well because my sister actually still owns the uh, first ever iPod Touch. And my god. That thing is still kicking it. It's still running pretty well, all things considered. <laughs> but here we go. Oh boy. Oh, there's another sticker down here. Oh shoot. Can I just... Ooh, there we go. I like that. Oh, that's scary. And I'm moving the camera too because my belly is moving. That's not good. <laughs> that's the inconsistency is having a belly like this to hold up your tripod. Looks like... Oh, oh, oh I'm scared. Oh, okay. Oh! It's held in by like a nice little like glass case. That's cool. That's cool. And this thing is tiny. This thing is like tiny all things considered like my god actually note that yeah just like a dang pots thing we'll get to the main meat in a little bit let's get to the uh the main parts here designed by apple in california Oof. wait am i stupid can i, I don't know if i want to like, tip it upside down or not so i just might be just straight up stupid Ooh, there it is god they like no kidding like dang pots is right they have apple always had like such good manuals they've been having for, like decades and all that like my god so simple, fun to read, and look, Apple stickers, awesome. <laughs> Got myself another lightning cable to work with. Thank goodness, I definitely needed one of those. And the Apple EarPods, but uh, if I'm not mistaken, obviously, because it's an iPod, these ones should be, yep, here it is. Oops, sorry, I burped into the microphone. <laughs> I'm terrible at these. Uh, here it is, yeah, 3.5 millimeter jack, so thank goodness, you know, at least this is like one of the last few surviving, like, portable... Actually, who am I kidding? No, it's not surviving anymore. They just killed it, so now there's nothing really portable Apple sells that sells a headphone jack. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think even the modern... I the closest one is, what, the iPad? and the, Like, the budget iPad, right? Oh, no. All right, we're just going to go ahead and put all these aside for now. Uh, is there anything else in here? And nope, that seems to be it. So just go ahead and quickly toss these aside for now. And let's get to the main attraction. God, I still can get over how tiny this thing is. How am I, how am I expected to take this out though? What? Okay, so this is obviously like the cover for the, uh, the little, uh, for the uh, screen protector. <laughs> God, these things are always like so fun to me. I've always liked that. Like that's cute. Oh God, how am I supposed to take this out? <laughs> Someone help me, I'm scared. I don't want to damage this thing already. Like, I get it. It's plastic on metal, but... Oh, God. Okay, just force it. Huh. Okay. Is it fine? Is the iPod fine? <laughs> I hope so. 
I hope I didn't damage it. Oh god. Like I already have a case and everything on standby and everything. I'm I'm repeating myself. Outstanding. Oh god, look at that blue. Like Best Buy only had two available. The blue one and the space gray one. I was kind of debating the space gray one because, you know, it's kind of like identical closest you can get to your original iPod but you know after some talk with my sister I decided to just go with the blue which also looks nice as well but let's go ahead and peel this off oh that's clean wow 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 one of the last remaining I'm, it's just so sad that Apple discontinued this man but it's at the same time it's expected all right let's go ahead and power this thing on Oh god, the top. <laughs> I forgot that's where the power button sits. Does this thing still have any power left? Oh god, it does. Oh wow. <laughs> now I guess now while waiting for that thing to boot, we can compare it to my iPhone XR. I know the iPhone XR is like a 6.1 inch display, so let's go ahead and... Yeah. <laughs> this iPod can... S I know I should have like a cushiony surface. This iPod is can fit inside of the screen. <laughs> of the 10R. <laughs> oh man, this thing is tiny. Like, like I mentioned before, I got a case for this thing before the iPod came. You know, when I first held it, I'm just thinking to myself, there's no way that the iPod was actually this tiny, but it is. <laughs> and wow, this it just it looks really blown out on camera because I do not, ha I have the ISO set. Oh no, this looks bad. I don't know. Do you want do you want to see my hands better or the screen better? <laughs> I don't know. There we go. Much better. Now my hands look orange. <laughs> Welcome to iPod. Oh my god. Not only is this thing tiny, but I gotta set down the ISO again. Oh my god. Oh my god. How bright does this thing get? Oh, okay, ah, okay, that just blew out the ISO. So, I'm so used to the iPhone XR's like notch and all that, that, you know, up is now for this thing and you gotta swipe it down. That's now just everywhere. And this thing is already getting hot, Wi-Fi calling. And that's right, there's also no home, there's no touch ID as well. So I gotta input my password every single time. Wow, there we go. I ordered the one, the 128 gigabyte model, my God. Look at GarageBand taking up 165. My God. You know how much that's hogging? You know what? Because of that GarageBand, screw you. You're going to be the first one to die on this iPod. Yep, delete it. You're done. Yep, good night. You're the first one I'm deleting on this iPod. So, why did I get an iPod in the first place? Well, because Dang Pods freaking convinced me. He convinced me that, like, you know, with all the notification and all that going through, like, interrupting his music and all that. It's just a pain, you know? And frankly, I agree. And also, not only that, uh, I do workouts in the gym, and I have Apple Music on my iPhone here, but I only have 64 gigabytes of storage here, and this thing holds everything. So my Apple Music has to share, like, my photos, my other applications and all that. It's a giant mess, and it takes up a lot of storage. So I do not have a lot of space for whenever I'm offline or something like that. That's where this iPod will come in. This will hold all my music, any movies I want, pretty much anything I want that will make this thing offline because that's what this is. An offline device, unless of course if I connect it to the internet. I'm doing a terrible job of explaining things. This is why I don't do things like this that often because I have a tough time explaining. Ah. <laughs> So, it's been roughly 72 hours or so since I did that unboxing, and, you know, I thought to give my little bit of experience on what it's been like using this iPod. And honestly, I don't know how or why, but this iPod has made me want to listen to music more and more again. I kind of stopped listening to music with my iPhone except for workouts, but for some odd reason, this iPod just made me want to listen all over again. I don't know why. Like, I really don't know why. Because the fact that maybe it's just offline all the time, I just have easy access to it. I'll have to wait for it to like, possibly buffer or something like that. Like, my internet to possibly drop. I don't know. That's making it sound like my freaking carrier is like really bad where I am, but it's not. <laughs> but I don't know why. Just the feeling of listening to music again on an iPod just feels right. I don't know what I mean by again, because again, I never had an iPod in the first place. <laughs> 
and I also took it as well to like make it a bit more of my own iPod. I actually installed some, uh, <laughs> I installed some games on this thing as well, like the old classes. I cut the rope, Jetpack Joyride. I downloaded the Angry Birds classic thing that Rovio put out, and the thing is, I haven't even tested out the cameras yet. Like I've looked in like the camera preview, and it just looks grainy. <laughs> It doesn't look all that good, <laughs> but again, that's just a camera preview, so probably when I take the photo, it'll look a little bit more decent, but I'm probably not going to shoot here unless, of course, if I need, like, if I'm like, really desperate for a shot. <laughs> now, when it comes to battery life, uh, yeah, no, this thing is definitely weak when it comes to battery life, but at least for what I'm using it for, I can easily get through a day or so, and I'm just, like, mainly using it for music. Sometimes I use it for, like, a little bit, like, offline video if I need to. I've got a few movies downloaded. Like Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. <laughs> I've actually got all of Phineas and Ferb now downloaded on here. And yeah, screen's fine, battery's okay, even though it's barely sitting at over a thousand milliamps. <laughs> so, you know, if you're really pushing it, this thing will definitely not get you through the whole entire day. But for just music, which is what I use it for like what like 80% of the time, it's good. I love it. But yeah, so do I regret buying an iPod? Honestly, no. If anything, I'm actually kind of glad I still pay the extra 50 bucks. So, yeah. <laughs> Those have been my thoughts for the last few days. Just that I'm loving music again, simply put. This iPod has made me fall in love with music all over again. So with that being said, thank you so much for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe for something maybe not like this. I don't know. Because <laughs> I do not... Maybe we should have like a script or something. I really don't know. But I'll see y'all next time. Y'all take care now. <laughs>